Here I've got uh, what essentially is four square feet of uh, heavy gauge aluminum and I've cut it up into four square pieces here. This one I won't use but using the last three square feet I've uh, I divided them such that I can create and build for myself a uh, an octahedron radar reflector and so I'm starting to assemble them now. Uh, I've pulled the, the backing off of these pieces already. These two will go together first and then I'll put these together here. So I'm building this because the um, Plastimo cylindrical radar reflector that I had fell and broke and in researching to get another one in place I found out that the one I had, those cylinders, actually don't do much at all. Um, they are very, uh, or quite poor, at what they intend to do. For reference, I made this out of cardboard to figure out how I might do it better, what have you. Uh, you know, pretty simple design. You've seen these around. These octahedron reflectors are some of the best at what they do for what they are. Um, the better ones are, are actively reflective, which requires power and, and so forth and a lot of money, and I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to build this one, and uh, we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do now is take some adhesive right here and, uh, and basically weld the seams together, and then I'll use those next pieces to put those and build out the rest of it. Well, here's my first go with some epoxy. Um, really lousy, but... I think it will be okay. I just did uh, the top side, both sides of this here, just to start the process using a square to keep it, or try to keep it. The cool thing is you don't need exact, um, close to exact is pretty good. Um, the problem is I get, um, I get on a roll to get a project done and then I am really loose with the details which is where the focus should be, but I don't have the patience. Trying to smooth all the edges. Get the corners dulled. The epoxy wasn't pretty, but it's strong. I bought some of this uh, edge molding, I think. And it's just uh, channel molding. This happens to be rubber. It doesn't quite fit um, the gauge of aluminum that I'm using. But uh, it's snug enough where I think it's okay. And it's rubber, so I think that if I mount this, uh, the radar reflector up in the rigging, if, a, if with this, assuming this works, if a, um, if a, a sail were to rub against it, it's not going to get cut up and chafed um, quite so badly with the rubber. Um, that's the idea anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean the edge uh, of the uh, clean the edges um, as I go and I've already cut this to size. I got about 15 feet of this stuff and uh, once I clean it uh, the idea is that I can use super glue to bond this. I don't know if it's going to work with the aluminum but this is uh, EPDM is actually what this is um, this material that I bought and super glue is the uh, is the thing to use so I'm hoping and you know frankly if it doesn't work quite right then I'm gonna try stitching it on I'll just drill some holes along the edge uh, and stitch it on um, I mean that'll be a whole lot more work but uh, uh, I'm not gonna fuss with other options I don't think too much so. okay well um, next day, and I, I glued this up. It was okay. Um, it didn't completely stick on some of the edges here, and I think that it would probably pull away relatively easy. So I think I might just go ahead and get some like high slip, something or other, drill through here and bind it that way. Uh, I may even forego the glue because it did dry quite quickly and there was some concern I had on my part that it would it would be done before I could actually get this on. 
I don't know, but we'll experiment with it, see what happens. Right now, what I'm trying to do is I need to find a way to hang this. Um, the idea is that it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be attached to the boat so that essentially um, the catch rain position, uh, it's in the catch rain position, which means it's essentially like this, um, as opposed to what you might expect to have a corner up and have it in a more um, diamond position. It has to be like this. And of course that leaves no real obvious way of hanging it um, in, that, in that direction. But what I thought I would do, and I'll just use this stick as demonstration. But what I'm gonna do is I'm essentially gonna take a piece of, uh, of, of aluminum and drape it across like this. And I will bend it here, rivet it to this side, and then somehow attach it to this corner right here. Um, and I'll do that on the top and then again on the bottom. And that way I can attach it to the master or what have you. But, but getting the thing attached to this other corner is proving a little bit more perplexing to me. Um, but my latest thought is this. Let me show you. So here's the... Uh, I don't know, was it 18 gauge aluminum sheet that, uh, that I used, that I made this out of. And what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see it, but I scored a line right here. I'm just gonna cut out a little, a small strip of this aluminum, and I'm gonna try to bend it in such a way that I can bridge this gap right here um, over the top. Um, that is to make a, a platform right here. Uh, you know, put some sort of platform across here like this, so that, and then, and then uh, I'll use some some um, epoxy and also some rivets, and I'll so that'll have a platform. So that way, when I have another piece of aluminum like this, I'll have some way something a platform here solid um, to then rivet and glue this end of it. So I'm hoping that this. Um, this relatively light gauge aluminum will help me, uh, will enable me to, to make the, the right shape. Um, other attempts didn't work out so well, so, uh, so anyways, we'll give that a go. pieces in a little bit more. I don't think that something like this will interfere with the actual use of the of the radar. I'm not certain of that of course but um, I mean the idea is that I'm trying to reflect a signal and the octahedral radar reflector is good at bouncing the signals right back from where they came. I'm hoping this won't interfere but uh, you know it's just it's just the way it's got to be because I got to find a way to hang it. Well, there it is. Um, clearly, I did not follow through on my idea of using epoxy with this one, but uh, uh, checking it, it's really quite secure. Uh, I got rivet on that side. You see, it's uh, it's not well shaped that piece, but. Um, they do seem pretty snug. And so I think that'll be okay. And uh, anyway, so let's keep moving on with this stuff. Okay. Two pieces of aluminum shaped. Uh, so these will grab onto the uh, to the radar reflector, and then these elbows right here uh, will either screw or I will um, rivet them into the uh, side of the mast. Well, I realized my mistake. I made two brackets uh, the same, 
and yet they need to be sort of opposite. Um, this one here comes out, this is going to be against the mast, which means I need one out here against the mast. But it's not the way I've got it set up. So I've got to try to rebend this um, and then make a little elbow piece for right here to basically take this, accept this. First off, we'll measure this EPDM, make sure it fits where we want it. That's better. Then we'll take the alcohol and we'll clean up this edge. Then we'll take some of the super glue. So we got this at the ready. I do and I just put this along the edge and I kind of weave the, the bead back and forth so that it falls on both sides of the edge and then rather expeditiously put this on Again, I don't know if it's it's gonna hold all that great. You can I don't know if you can see down here, but it's lifting up. Uh, that super glue wasn't quite, but I I overdid it. And it just kind of lifts up a little bit, so that's why I think that uh, maybe drilling straight through and then weaving something around it to keep it here might help me avoid headaches um, with it coming off in the future and falling off you know from the top of the mast um, it wouldn't take much I mean just to hold it on so we got you know we need a little more super glue but uh, we've got these pretty much in place this will hang on the mast like this in the catch rain position in the catch rain position although I do have um, you know there, there are gaps in in there I don't know if you can see that but there are gaps so that the water actually will drain um, and uh, hopefully this will keep me a little bit safer in um, you know, low visibility conditions.